Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithelly.com and I'm going to be sharing with you three cards using the Plentiful Plants Bundle which is this one. This is from the annual catalog and it's actually going to be uh, available in the new uh, catalog still. However, the bundle price is going away so definitely if you like this one make sure you get it right now as you still get the bundle pricing that because with the new catalog that pricing is no longer available. Now, uh, typically when we get them as a bundle right now, you get a 10% discount. So definitely um, this is the best time to get it. And so I'll be honest, I think I've only played with it once in a different Facebook, like right at the beginning of last cat uh, of this catalog that is going away. And I haven't really played with it. And so definitely wanted to play with it because I really like it. Um, so anyway, let me see who's here. And thank you so much for <laughs> your nice comments about my little Addy. I'm gonna try to go live, not live, um, check on the, yeah, there we go, on the thing here, yeah, on my cell phone so that I can kind of see all the different comments because usually that part is kind of hard for me. So anyway, so hi Doris, hi Diane, hi Sharon, thanks so much for being here. Hi Margaret, hi Don and Gloria, so thank you, thank you. And so it's been a crazy uh, week for us already. Hi Estella. So Miss Addy, uh, oh my gosh, yesterday we came home and she was with a sore throat. We went to the urgent care and she tested positive for a strep. So that was a, that was something. Um, and then during the night, Oliver walks up and um, he had fever. So that was Oliver yesterday night. So we gave him, you know, mortaring and Tylenol and everything was good. But then at the same time, we're like, let's check on Addy. And Addy was even uh, hotter. So she had fever and oh my gosh, we had a really bad night. We pretty much spent the whole night um, checking her uh, fever because we couldn't make it break. You know, we gave her mortaring and then in four, three hours, whatever time frame it was, the Tylenol and then again, the um more uh mortaring and then nothing so finally i think it was like 3 a.m or 2 a.m i don't remember right now we had to give her a cold shower because she was like too hot and i'm always really concerned with fever so anyway we had to go to the pediatrician this time this morning and now they both tested for flu so they both have flu and addy now has flu and a strep so she's the one who is really in the worst shape she you can see the droopy eyes and watery eyes and dripping nose and she's just not a happy camper she's better but you can see she is really uh she's really um hard on it oliver is like nothing happened on him to be honest i mean we just take him because he had the fever but he's all good and playful and everything so anyway but it's been a crazy two days so anyway um, but again, thank you so much for um, letting me change the date. And I know you also were so nice. Thanks for the prayers and all the good wishes. So thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. So anyway, so I'm going to start um, talking a little bit about classes. So right now, um, right now I have, oh, oh, thank you so much for all your kind, uh, kind words. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so right now we have the... Um, car club so my car club as you know um it's my monthly subscription it's not it's 39 dollars a month and you get a kit with about 20 22 dollars worth of products a car key to to make about five projects and um the one that is being featured for april so the one that you would get between now and tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day to sign up is the abstract beauty if you remember this is that one and so this is going to be um, the April kit. And of course, here are some of the uh, the paper and the uh, little elements that you will get. Um, so that's for April. And then the other thing that you need to know is when you are in Car Club, then um, when you are for six months, consecutive six months, then you also get an additional $25 worth of goodies. Plus the feature bundle of the month gets, um, you get it at my cost, meaning no tax and no shipping. So definitely a great, uh, a great perks. If you want to read more about it, I have it on the description of this video. So um, if you're watching it on Facebook, it's going to be here on top. If you're watching on YouTube, it's going to be down below. And I usually put also a link here in the corner so that you learn more about Car Club. You can go at creatingwithali.com forward slash Car Club, and then you'll read more details about it. You can buy the past PDF. So if there's a kit that you wanted, but you didn't know about, you can get it there. 
And also you can subscribe to Car Club so that you get, um, get the next car kit. And then the one that is coming up next month, so the one for May, it's going to be featuring a new suite. Now, I don't have yet the samples to show, but I'm going to show you the paper that we're going to be using, which is brand new from our uh, brand new, uh, what is this, catalog. And this one is called The Hues of Happiness. And oh my goodness, I am just in love with all the colors. And so this is going to be the, this is going to be the paper we're going to be featuring. You can see it kind of like here, so you get an idea. So it's flowers and um, the bundle from that one it's this one let me just show you here i have it all here and it is the happiness abounds so there is a bundle as well and so this is going to be the bundle that i'm going to be using next month for car club so i'm pretty sure it's going to be gorgeous because the paper is beautiful all the flowers the colors everything and the stamp set is just amazing. You can color uh, with a blend. I mean, I feel like, oh my gosh, this is the one that I just want to go ahead and play. But I just got it yesterday and I wanted to make sure that for the May Car Club, I use new products from the new catalog. So that's why I don't even have them yet done. But this weekend is when I'm going to get all crazy and make them so that I can share some pictures and uh, sneak peeks next, uh, for next next week's um so if you want to be getting that one make sure you sign up by the 8th or starting april 8th if you want to be getting already the one for april it's going to be featuring this one right the abstract beauty and all the cars are really nice simple and again this is just a, an easy way for you to make cars relax enjoy some crafting time i'll do all the designing and you just go and enjoy your time assembling all the kits so anyway so that's that class um, let me just move this one. The next thing that I have is the uh, Friendly Hello. And I'll be honest, this has been really popular. So you know how um, we announced that I was going to be making another card class um, collaborating with Jennifer Cotton. And so we're going to be giving half of a pack of this one. So this is from Celebration and this is more of a gift because we collected lots of this paper and sets for um, for us right during Celebration. And so we're just gifting it away. There's no, we didn't add any cost of these things into the class fee. Um, and so it's just a gift. Anyway, so you'll get half of a pack of this designer series paper and you're going to be getting a free... Um, what is this? The stamp set, the friendly hello. Now, in my case, I am almost done with this. I opened registration this weekend and it's almost sold out. I have less than a handful of these sets. So after, once I run out of these ones, I'm going to turn off the uh, the option with the set because I don't have any more to give away. But you could still you could still sign up if you want to get the make and take. You would only get the design the half of the designer series paper. But make sure you have this set right because I cannot send you a stamp images and I don't have any more of those. This stamp set is already gone. It was part of the celebration, and so if you don't have that one um, after I sell out on this option. I don't have any more and I don't know what else to tell you because <laughs> it's it's been so popular. Like I said, I have a lot of them, I thought, and they're almost gone. Um, anyway, so like I said, less than a handful. And I can share with you at least half of, a, of the cards that you're going to be making because, again, since I am partnering with Jennifer, we're going to be doing five cards each. So you're going to be getting a make and take for 10 cards of the set. So it is really good. The price is $40. And let me just share real quick, a quick sneak peek. You're gonna love them all. Three of these are fun folds, which, you know, I love fun folds. So who wouldn't like to do those? And uh, I know you're gonna love it. So those are the ones that I designed. And like I said, uh, Jennifer is working already on her samples. So should have them really soon. But again, it's 10 cards. Um, and again, you get half of a pack of the designer series paper. And if you sign up right away, you get also this one. Once I run out, there's no more of those, okay? If for whatever reason, some of you sign up while we are on the live and I run out, I will be contacting you. We'll be on the first in, first out. And so if you sign up and I run out during this Facebook live, I'll contact you and say, sorry, I don't have that one anymore. Like I said, it was a gift. There's no cost added to the class fee uh, for those items. Um, but like I said, I won't have any more to give away. So anyway, so that's that. 
The second card class that I have available, or that it was an add-on on that, is the one featuring the rainbows and sunshine. And let me show you that designer series paper, because to me that was like my favorite. I just love all the uh, designs, patterns from this pack. I thought the colors were just amazing to write and you know, I just love them. So anyway, um, so this card class, it's an add-on, it's $37 and it includes a, oh my gosh, the, uh, what is this? The um, Kite Delight stamp set. And I know some of you were like, nah, I don't know that I like it. Believe me, you're gonna love it. All the samples on this card class are amazing. I just love them. It just goes really well with the class. And again, on this one, same, because I am partnering with Jennifer, I have four and she's designing another four. So you're gonna be getting eight cards on this one. So really good value is $37 to add it on. You get half of a pack of the designer series paper. You get the stamp set, which you can substitute. And you also get a pack of the um, Baker's Twines. So you get a lot for your dollars and you can substitute. So if you already have this one and wanna change it, you can change it. The only caveat there is that because we are in that weird period of time where we have the retiring list, you have to give me different options just in case the item that you want had already sold out because I won't be able to be placing the order every single day, right? So I can only place the order when I close the registration. And so at that point, I'll figure out what is available. So make sure you, um, you check on those things and let me know which stamp sets options or things you want for the i think this one is 18 dollars. so just let me know what you want for the 18 dollars if you don't want that stamp set but believe me you are gonna love it with that set because it looks really cute it was super easy to play with uh and create i know you're gonna love all the cards i know jennifer has been working on her samples i already saw three of them adorable as well so i know you're gonna be enjoying it and you get uh, so many cards like i said it's 10 projects on the friendly hello. So 10 of these, um, five are mine designs, the other five are Jennifer's, and then on the add-on class, it's eight. Four are mine designs, four are Jennifer's. And so you're gonna be getting, if you get both of the classes, 18 cards on that kit. So definitely a great class to have. Oh, let me move things out. So anyway, so that's that. Um, and for these ones, I do have plenty. So once I run out of that one, maybe I'll be only having this guy if there's no more of the other ones, right? So anyway, um, let me see. What else? What else? What else did we talk about? I think that's it. I also, um, just so that you know, <clears throat> I'm going to be opening registration for the paper share. Of course, you know, there's a new catalog coming up in May. I'm gonna be opening uh, registration for the paper share. We are figuring out all the final details as far as which papers, the pricing and everything because prices are going up with the new catalog as well as shipping. Actually, shipping starts in April. We're having now new shipping fees. So instead of a 10%, now it's gonna be 11%. So, um, Anyway, so that's one thing going on. And so we're trying to figure out how to price our share just to make sure we're still giving you enough value. But we also try to limit a little bit of the cost because like the paper are like 50 cents per pack more expensive. And I say it's just 50 cents, but when you add up the different packs, it ends up being a lot of money. Um, and so there are 12 new packs of designer series paper. You know that when we do the uh, paper share, we do the paper share party where we have one project with each of the different papers. And we have already selected which stamps we're gonna be doing, although I cannot, I have not been able to order that. So that one is gonna be until May. So it's a little bit tricky, but anyway, it's gonna be amazing. I just love the ones that we picked. So, um, so that's the paper share. And the next thing is in color. Let me switch the camera so that you can see um, the new colors. I'm not gonna go in a lot of details, but I just wanna make sure you know, In Color Club is coming. I'm also uh, opening registration in April. And you know how the drill is. During this month, I cannot really receive any money until the last seven days. And so by the end of April, I will be sending you PayPal invoices so that you secure your spot either on the In Color Club or on the paper share. That way, by May 3, when it is the day that we can order from the new catalog, I can order all the papers, all the in colors, everything so that we can start shipping it out. All right. So let me just change cameras real quick. Or flick back.
and oh, uh, there we go. And as always, you have here the host code. So when you when you purchase with me thirty five dollars between now and Sunday, April ten, you'll get the car kit from the class from the cars that I'm showing today. But let's just see real quick the new in colors. And again. I might do a different video later on just so that we can see the different colors and play a little bit with how they look. But I just want to show you the different um, uh, colors we have. I just got them yesterday. I haven't opened them. Like you, like I mentioned, it's been kind of crazy through here in my house. So I haven't been able to open them and play with them. But you have the Tahitian Thai Sweet Sorbet. Um, what is this? Parakeet Party. Starry Sky. And then Orc. Orchid Oasis. So really nice. I really want to see how these two look in the ink because they have more of a purplish um, in their hue. So I love them. There's going to be also <clears throat> new, um, what are these, blends available with these, with these new uh, colors. Of course, there's the car stock. There's also markers. And again, when we do the in color, you're gonna be getting one of each per month. So it would last five months. And one month you'll get the one, everything in the one color that you um, that you get that month with one card. And there's also like an embellishment. I tried to do that. Look at the, also the, uh, the different uh, ribbons. This is the, what is the metallic? woven ribbon and oh my gosh i love this one this one looks more like purple so i definitely love that one this is the stair yeah this is the orchid actually um this one looks more like the misty moonlight when i look at just the ribbon uh it's not as dark as the one here as you can see but it looks really nice um then you have the parakeet which oh this one will go really well with other greens i thought and i love that they are metallic so i think they're going to be really great this one looks more pinkish if you've noticed right like you can see here this one looks red but this one looks more like a pinkish color which i love it and then you have the um tahitian west side and look at that one oh just love it i think this one will also look really nice with like the pacific point i think because i don't know and then we've got um new patterns on the designer series paper you know every year now and um i think now every year stamping up changes the patterns on the designer series paper and so here is the designer series paper and the design so all of our colors will have the same so you have here um the flowers and usually there's four different designs you have dots and then you have stripes and then you have let's just see this one i don't know how to say this like a plate maybe is that the name um so look at that so i see you can make this one or you can use all of them really really easily for your cards uh, and it's the same for all the colors right you have the two different patterns on all of them okay um so these are the in colors and again it's going to be part of the in color cloth and during your month you only get the designer's just paper off your color and one thing and i don't know you can give me some suggestions here is because i usually do include a full pack of the cardstock but again because of cost and whatnot i was thinking of only doing like the five sheets that they come or the four sheets that it comes when you get the the cardstock the pack right because instead of giving the full pack but i don't know let me know what you think uh like i said this is really 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 nice paper and i just love it i think that the and the patterns are really nice so i'm going to be very excited to see it on the other colors um because, yeah, I think that the patterns are amazing. You can use them for so many occasions. And then the other thing coming up on this, uh, with this in color, is the glitter paper. Which, I mean, who doesn't like glitter paper, right? Oh, my goodness. This one is a little bit tighter. Let me see. Can I pull some sheets? Oh, this is super tight. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. But you have, like, the ombre. And it's going to be on all colors, but look how beautiful this looks. Is that not nice? Um, let me see if I can pull, like, the other colors. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, look at this, right? Oh, this one, like I said, looks more like purple to me. And see? He, see these ones? So this one is darker and the lighter. So this is the Orchid and the Starry, Night, Starry Sky and then the Orchid Oasis. They look more purplish, which I just love. If you don't know these, um, I love purple. So, of course, anything that looks purple is just... It's just amazing. So anyway, I'm going to put this aside and then I'll figure out later how to put them back into their sheets, into their bags. 
and then we move along. All right, so that's that. So uh, stay tuned, make sure you're on my mailing list so you get information about how to get all the different, um, all the different colors. Again, if you wanna be getting the whole collection, but you wanna do it little by little so it's not like breaking the bank, the In Color Club is the best way because like I said, every month you'll get one of each of the colors, right? Um, and it also gets, um, oh, hold on, let me just make sure I put everything away. Um, and so it gets manageable for you to get everything at once. All right. But for tonight, we're going to be getting, we're going to be making three cars using the plant, plentiful plants. And as usual, we're going to start with the stamping. Okay. And you know me, I like to just do the stamping first and then I, I cut it, which I usually already have done. And then we go from there and assemble cars. Okay. So I'm going to be using, um, cinnamon cider which by now you know that it is retiring and so make sure you have it i think it was still available i might be wrong but i still still there and we're going to be stamping the pots so i'm going to be stamping this one and that one and then i'm going to be stamping the leaves so this one that one and what else i think those are the main ones that i am going to be stamping here as far as colors, of course, we're going to be using the, uh, what am I using here? The cinnamon cider, and I'm going to be using the evening evergreen. I think that's a, those are the ones that I've used. Let's see. I think that's the one that I've used. You know, I made my samples a couple of weeks ago, and then I realized that the stamp set was not available for a while. And I was like, mm, I don't think I can show that one, mainly because I want to make sure that whatever I show you, you can still get it, right? And so I was kind of disappointed to see that it wasn't ready or it wasn't available at that point. So no, I'm going to put this one like so. All right, so I can die cut it. And I'm using my pierce mat. I use the pierce mat mainly because um, when it is photopolymer, you get a better transfer of your image. Oh, yeah, it was that one. I was like, mm, did I use that color? I'm going to put it this way so that you can see it. And, um, and then we're going to be using also this one. There we go. I should be putting it like so, so I can like cut it. All right. And then for these ones, we're gonna be using, like I said, so these are the two that you're gonna be using throughout the cards tonight. And then for the pots, we're gonna be using, I'm gonna move these ones here because I don't want to get anything on the card. We're gonna be using the cinnamon cider. Oh, let me see. Does this one fit here? Oh, it does. Okay, so let's just use that one so I don't... Okay, and we're going to go ahead and stamp this one. And you can see this is tone on tone, but you still see it. And then I'm going to be using that one. Now, this is a distinctive, I believe, because you can still see, like, the shades, you know, I believe. It is. And so one thing that you might want to be paying attention in some cases is you want to make sure it's not super juicy because sometimes you lose some of the details. But um, in this case, my stamps are, my ink pads are kind of good for that. All right, so let me just go ahead and clean this one. So this is the chamois. I love the chamois because it cleans really well. It only uses water. It, you can see it used to be purple, pinkish purple, but as you're using it, it kind of gets all colors and it just gets a stain. It's okay. You just need to be clean it or wash it, put it in the washer and it's all good. You know, it still is a stain, but it cleans everything really well. What I love the most about, because I used to use uh, like wipes at some point, but what I love about this one, it doesn't let, or it doesn't leave any lint in your stamps. And so, especially for a photopolymer, it's just amazing because everything gets sticky, um, but not for those. Now, once you have these, you're going to take your dies and we're going to be die cutting them. Okay. And so for these ones, we're going to be using like that one, right? See, they kind of match. Same with that one. And one thing, like I mentioned in the past or in other videos, is that I've been doing the lines around my dies mainly because A, I know how they can fit in the sheet, right? Once I get it or from the beginning. And then the other thing is I could easily identify which 
uh, that's it. I am missing. You know, because sometimes you get loose, like you lose all, some of them, right? So anyway, uh, for this first card, the first, um, I'm also going to be die cutting this, right, in basic white. And I'll show you here in a second, as well as this one. And then for this one, you actually get two of those, right? So you can die cut one of these. And you're going to be die cutting also this one in the Just Jade. So I just need a strip of Just Jade. And I'll show you here what I did. I love that Stampin' Up! has given us more and more. Oh my gosh, where is my... Uh, this one. Okay. So you just need... You can see the different tones. This is Just Jade. It's also retiring. I believe it was still available. I might be wrong. Uh, but these two colors are going away. So get them while they're still there. If they're still there. Okay. So anyway. Um, so... I love when we have some of the um, dies that are standalone, meaning you don't have to be a stamping because once you die cut them, so let me just show you those, you get something like these that you can use by themselves as embellishments. And so that makes it so easy when you're making your cards because you can create as many embellishments as you want. So let me put those back. Another one that you're gonna be using, oh, and for the leaves, the same thing. You're just gonna go ahead and run them through and I have them ready. So I'm not going to show that part because I don't want to be taking too much of the time. I know that usually these videos are already one hour long. <laughs> so, oh, we're, oh, see, this is where I'm like, I can tell exactly where these things are going. And we're going to start assembling our first card. So let me just put everything back uh, here and then let's just start putting things together. All right, so for the first card, I'm going to be, you can see here, I already I cut all the pieces. So I have the the pot, the leaf, this one, and then these two, okay? And then I have two labels from the Hippo and Friends dies, which are going away at the end of May. So this is one of my favorite dies because it has lots of labels. It also goes really nice with the Hippo and Friends stamp set. So you have like a cheap, a unicorn, a Hippo, a butterfly, the balloon, flower. So it's really nice. Um, however, I think I have been using this set mainly for the labels. And so you can see them here. I did one in... <coughs> I'm sorry. I did one in Sahara sand and then the other one in um, basic white. And I did pretty much the largest two. So the largest is in Sahara sand, as you can see here. And then the second or the one in the middle is in basic white. I'm going to be stamping here my sentiment. <clears throat> and for my sentiment, of course, we're going to be using my favorite early espresso. I use early espresso most of the time, to be honest. So let's just go ahead. There is a sentiment here that says a little note with biggest thanks. I thought this would be really nice. Oh, let's just put it like so. Where do we went? Like maybe here. All right. And I'm going to go all the way to the um, left. Okay. And we're going to be stamping. And here you have it. And here's where I'm going to be adding the other elements. Okay. So now for this one, let's just put this away for a second. We're going to go ahead and use, um, I think like two glue dots. I think it will be good if we use two glue dots. Okay. I think it will be okay if we just use two glue dots here. You can also use your fast, uh, not fast fuse, your uh, seal. We used to call it fast fuse, and in fact, I still have some of my fast fuse that I still use, but this time I'm actually using the seal plus. Anyway, and you're gonna lay it, lay it, uh, lay it down. Oh. I just need to make sure that it's kind of straight and that I have all the little dots with, um, with the white. So it looks like a little pot as well, okay? And this one is gonna go like so. So I'm gonna be adding another glue dot here. And you can add, like I said, the seal, but, you know, it's really little, so it's just going to be adding one glue dot. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to be adding dimensionals for these, so it should be fine. So, like so. See? So, like these. And you have your first pot. And look how beautiful this is. And again, this is going to go as your... Um, 
embellishments, okay? So same with this one. I'm just adding one, and then I'm going to be adding it, like, right here. And then I'm going to be putting everything in dimensionals, okay? Now, as far as the card, let me just bring the other pieces of the card. So I have a piece of Sahara Sand, and this is 8.5 by 5.5. I have a piece of the... Uh, Evening Evergreen, and this one is four by five and one quarter. Let me just check. Yeah, five and one quarter by four. And then this one is a quarter of an inch smaller, so it's three and three quarters of an inch by five. And then I have a piece of the designer series paper, which this one is coming from the um, Bloom Where You're Planted, which is the one that coordinates with the suite or with these bundle now this one is going away so it is retiring if you like it make sure you grab it right away one of the things that you need to see um is that there is there are some sheets that have the images that you can uh cut out with your scissors and then you have these as embellishments and then there's this other one right where you can cut out some of the images using the dice okay like this one so that's um this one and that one can be cut out with the die. So that's kind of cool. As well as this one. This other one can be cut out with the die cuts. So some of the uh, images from your designer series paper can be cut out with the, with the dies. And some others you will have to cut out with the with the uh, scissors. Okay? So anyway, we're going to go ahead and... Put those two... And the way I was picturing this, so let's just see this. So we're going to have this one like so. And then this is going to be really simple. And I have this one kind of like that. And then, like I said, I want this one. So, ooh, it's kind of, um, see, this one is a little bit. That's okay. It will be okay. But it's a little bit is mirror, a little bit. And then I was thinking of putting this one. And you know what? Let me just grab a piece of paper. See, because when I add, see how it's too juicy? So I just need, there you go. That way it's not as juicy and I can touch. Because you can get a little bit of those things, right? See, there you go. That way I can manipulate it. Because otherwise I'm going to be getting ink all over the place. And there's still some of it. I don't know, for whatever reason, my early express is too juicy. And I love it because it goes really well for the for the sentiments but sometimes at the same at the same time you know it's not the greatest because then see how it looks so i want something like that and it looks really nice and then i'm going to be adding a bow now as far as a bow i was debating with the self succulent right this could go really well now this is mint macaron and this is just jade now this one is the self the self succulent and i think it looks nice or the other one I was thinking is the um, Evening Evergreen too. So this could be one, which I think is too muted. Let's just see the Evening Evergreen, which I think it might go well to pop up more of that green in the mat, you know? Um, and it will add a little bit more of contrast. Which, by the way, do you know these ribbons are uh, also are going to be still available on the new catalog? I'm very excited because these are actually one of my favorite ribbons. I love how well they make bows and I love how well they coordinate with the ink holders, right? I mean, they're part of the ink holder from um, this year, last year, this year. There you go. I think I like this one better, so I'm going to go with this. Um, and so I'm excited to see is that these are going to be available in the next catalog. So... They're not going away. That's kind of cool. I love that. Because I think like they make really good bows. You know, it's easy to make the bows. All right, so let's just cut out these and start assembling our card. All righty, so everything in this one is going to be with dimensionals. But, you know, I just love laying everything and see how they look before I glue everything. Because if I don't like something, I can always modify. I can move things around, change positions, change, change the direction. So I always try to do the gluing at the very end. I like to lay it out everything first. And if I like it, then I, I know I can go ahead and start gluing everything with confidence. So anyway. Da -da -da. You like the dark one? Yeah, Eva. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The, the dark one, I think, pops off even better than the other one. I think the other one is kind of muted. So, 
We're gonna go with dark. Oh, do I have a few? Oh my goodness, I have like a big box of a stamping now full of the fast fuse. So I'm still using it in between sometimes. You're gonna see sometimes that I have a, a gray or a black one and then sometimes I use the dark blue because I still have plenty of the fast fuse. I still love it, I still use it. Um, and so yeah, I'm using it in between. So it's almost like I use one of the fast fuse and then one of the seals and I'm just going back and forth because I want to deplete my, my stash. <laughs> I went crazy when they said that it was going to go on, um, that they were going to retire it. And because that was the one that I was using the most, uh, I just decided to buy a lot of it. And then they put it on clearance because if you remember, they didn't have enough of it for a period of time. And then, and then they got like, uh, like a last batch or something and it was already retired. So they just put it in the clearance. So that's when I really did a lot of my stock on the fast fuse i'll be honest i just love this so much and the seal is pretty cool so that's why now i'm like okay i can just this stash use everything you know so i'm gonna put this one like so so i can read the words now this one is gonna be i think like both should be like pop up you know so i'm gonna leave this one flat and then this one's uh, i'm gonna go ahead and and um pop it up with the dimensionals you know, so we're going to go ahead and add this one right here. And then this one, we're going to go ahead and add the dimensionals. Now I'm going to try to put this ones where I can uh, put it with both of them, right? Like I can grab both of the different. Pieces, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and do this one. All right, and again, if you had questions and I don't see the, while we're doing the live, um, I always go back and read the, the comments and just answer your questions. So you can still, or even if you're watching the replay at this point, you could, um, you can always leave me a comment and I'll follow up with you. Um, if there's a question, okay. About anything that I am using. Or anything else for sure see I'm gonna be adding like one more here just to make sure that I grab those little two um, like it like making sure that I am grabbing both of the uh, dies right although there are glue with the glue dots but it's still you know Oop. so I'm just gonna put it like so right look at how beautiful this look and then I'm going to go ahead and add this one with a glue dot. Look at that. Okay. And um, I was thinking about either adding some of the gems. And I didn't know if I wanted to put the gilded gems. Which I think they pop up really nice. Or these ones. This one will be a little bit more muted. And both of them will look really nice. Both of these are retiring. And these are my favorites. For sure you know that I've been using the Gilded Gems so much on my cards. So definitely if you don't have any of those packs. Make sure you grab them before they're gone. Because I, I think like they help you make your cards super super easy. And like I said this is right now we're in that weird period of time. Where everything is retiring. <laughs> so anyway. So let's just use some of the well... Do I want gold or do I want the other ones? What do you think? I think gold might be really nice. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you're liking it. So let's just see. I think gold look fancier, don't you think? So I might just pop up like somewhere here and there, you know? So I might just... Uh, then on this one, I, this one, I think you have to be using like the other side. Oh, definitely, yeah. It pops up very nice. There you go. And I might just put one more here. There you go. Just like that. So you don't need too many. But look how beautiful. I love, like I said, I love how um, 
the Gilded Gems always makes pop up uh, really nice. So we're gonna be using those. Again, you could also use this one. This one will also look really nice, right? Because they color combinate really well with those. So either one will look nice. All right, so here is our card number one. Let's go with card number two. So card number two, uh, let me see. We, we've done already all the pieces, right? You saw me stamping and you can see here how they look die cut. And um, and then one other pot, right? So these are the ones that we have. I do have a circle with the layering circles and then we have a, what is this called? Um, one of the labels, again, from the Hippo and Friends. Like I said, Hippo and Friends is one of those that I've been using so much. So definitely I recommend getting it right away before it, it runs away. Okay, now this one, we're gonna be doing the thank you card for these. I thought it would be really nice. So we're gonna bring our, um, this is um, macaron mint, and this is three quarters of an inch by two and a half. It's really just a scrap, so you can, um, yeah, so you can change it, and we're gonna be doing the thank you here. Okay, and we're gonna be stamping the thank you. Again, using Early Espresso, and like I said, I love Early Espresso. Anytime I use color cardstick, is I get a really nice transfer of the image, really dark, and then again, always use your uh, pierce mat whenever you're using photopolymer, because you get an even better image that way, especially if you're debating, right? Like if you're having issues with it. Now for this card, I have, oh, you know what? It should, I should probably add this one. Thank you. A little note with the biggest things. I think I could probably add this one as well, you know? I think it might look nice just to have something. Well, I'm gonna leave it blank, how about that? I'd rather put it blank, because you never know. I might need it, a large message on this one. Um, so for this, I have a piece of Evening Evergreen, and this is eight and a half by five and a half. I've already pre-scored on this side, and this one is at um, two and one eighth. Oh, it says that the video stop. Oh. Let me see. Hopefully, hopefully everything is fine. Um, hmm. Someone mentioned that the video stop. Hopefully everything is fine. We'll see how it goes once we uh, do the light. So anyway, let me know if you can see it. If not, I don't know what to do, to be honest, because on my end, I still see everything well, but who knows? I see, okay, perfect, I'm like, oh. Anyway, so I've already pre-score at two and one eighth on one end, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and fold that one, use your bone folder so you have a crease fold. And then we're gonna go ahead and then meet this ones this way, right? Just making sure this meet. Uh, yep, right? And once these are meet, then we're gonna use the bone folder and so that way you get a nice uh, gate fold, right? You could also do the two and one eight and two and one eight, but sometimes when you do that, they don't really match that well here. And so anyway, so that's a little thing. And that's just a new tip that I learned from another fellow demonstrator that I thought oh, that's just clever. And then we have a piece of basic white and this is four by five and one quarter, which we're gonna leave it blank, but you can also decorate if you want. Um, I'm just gonna put it here in the middle, that way you have enough space for you to write, but you can see here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, thank you so much for confirming. Okay, so everything is back. Oh, good deal. Yeah, I don't know, sometimes I get so scary when when someone says that it's not working or something, because you know, I mean, there's always some sort of glitches and you never know. And to be honest, I don't know, in the middle of the life, I don't know how to fix those things other than stop and start a new video. Um, in some cases I have started and I don't have um, audio and I had had to stop and, and start all over, right? So anyway, we're gonna have this one, then we're gonna be adding this one to one side. Now this one is not from the uh, Bloom Where You're Planted, this one is from the abstract, no, the Artfully Composed Designer Series paper which is from the uh, mini catalog going on right now. So this is this one. I love the colors and I love that it also has the leaves and different other patterns. So I went with this one. 
Um, because it also goes really well with the like I could use this one, although this one doesn't go that well with this one, right? Because it's too busy. But it goes really well. What is really cool is once I glue this one, when you open, you still have that one, and it goes really well with the colors. There's there's a white background, it's all the greens, there's ev evening evergreen, so it flows really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. Um and we only need adhesive on this section, right? Whichever section you want, but in my case, I'm going to go with the left uh, section. And I said left because this is the left side, so here. And I'm just going to line it up. And this one is uh, 4 by 5 by 1 quarter, so like so, right? And so when you open it, it opens like so. Isn't that cool? All right, now I have a piece of the, uh, what is this? Uh, the designer series paper from the bloom where you're planted. Now the measurement on this one is let me just check. So I don't I this one it was like scrap I had, but it, I know it's one and one quarter, but the length I don't remember. Oh, it's ten and a half. Okay, so that's perfect. Ten and a half by the one and one quarter. Okay, is that right? Yeah, yeah, one and one quarter. Okay. And we're going to be doing a belly band at this point. And look how beautiful this coordinates, right? Even though it's two different paper packs, they still coordinate really nice. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and fold this one. And then I'm just going to make it where it's not too... I just want to make sure... Yeah, it looks okay. So I'm going to go ahead and... And add some adhesive. Okay. And it's not too tight where it still moves. You can see it still moves. But not too loose where it goes down or like where it just goes away. Now here is where we're going to be gluing our pieces, right? So we're going to be making our label. Now I was playing with this one, you can see, but I'm gonna be using the white side because I wanted to use those two. And I want this one right in the center just to make it fuller, right? So on this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a glue dot. And then I'm gonna be adding dimensionals on the whole thing. Mm, how do I, yeah. I think I might need one here actually. I think this is where I would need it. There you go. See? So it is glued together like so. And it kind of looks fuller, but then I'm going to be adding dimensionals on the whole thing. Okay? Because this one is going to go like right here on dimensionals. Um, so let's just add... The mini dimensionals. I think this one is the way. Yeah, there you go. Hidden. And then one more here. Okay. And I got the inspiration from one of the cards that we made. Oh, that oh, is it? No, I didn't. Like that we make um, on our um, team meetings. Um, we have a monthly team meeting it, it, with a larger group, and these the layout. I should say the layout was um, what we did in one of our cards, and I just thought it was so nice that I wanted to do one like so. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding this one here. And this is a little bit lower, that's okay. I could have probably moved those a little bit up, but that's okay. I don't want to do it at this point because it will glue the dimensionals here, so that's fine. But this one, I just need to be careful and add dimensionals on this section and not on the bottom because I don't want anything gluing to this section. So you do have to be thinking like where you're going to be positioning your... your... Um, Glue, uh, not glue, dimensionals, right? Or the adhesive, just to make sure that 
you don't by mistake um, close it with your or glue it to your to the background, right? You need to make sure everything stays in this. Um, there you go. So there's no glue anywhere. And we're gonna be adding the glue here. Now, one thing here is I wanted to have this one more towards this section, and then maybe have that one like so, maybe. Although I think this one is kind of too large now that I see this. I might need to add this one. Yeah, this one is too too large, you know? I might need to cut it and trim it and trim it and trim it, you know? Like really tight and see if that makes better. If not, we'll have to change the uh, sentiment to something smaller. See, this is why I always like to layer things because you can modify as you go. Now, when you get your kit, right, for this week, of course, you're going to be getting a larger piece and then you'll have to be trimming it because if I send you this small of a piece, you're going to be killing me or <laughs> trying to, um, just for uh, trying to stamp this way, like this tight. I think it, it will be really, really, really hard. So I'm just gonna make it too tight. There you go, like too tight. I feel like I can cut a little bit more here. Not too much on this side, but more on this side. There you go. See, so I'm just cutting and cutting with this trimmer and hopefully yeah that looks much better don't you think it's a smaller and I can either put it on this side no I like it on this side I actually do like it this way so I'm just gonna be adding like a little bit of adhesive and a glue dot on this one And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this one like so. All right. And then I'm going to be adding adhesive on this section. Okay. Now on this one, we're going to go ahead and use like maybe three. And I need to put it like so. Yep. This one I can add it because it will be harder for me to figure it out where this one should go. But these two are fine. And again, I'm trying to just add them on the belly band. And, oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I could still do something on this one. Woof, I save it. It would be nicer if I add the ribbon there. How about that? Um, where is my ribbon? I do know I have my ribbon here. Here. Oh, I think that will be nice. Oh, where is the ribbon? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's see. See, like I said, I'm always changing things as I go. So, um, where are the pleasers? Hold on. I need some twisters here. Oh, goodness gracious, what are you gonna do with them? Oh, here. I'm like, I know I have some. I know I had another one. I don't know what I did with them. It was here. Because I know I was using them during the weekend. But I can't find them right now. So, we'll go with this one. Good thing I have two. You know? Ugh. All right, so. One thing I need to check is that this thing is, yeah, flat. Because sometimes I twist it and then it looks great on the front. And then for whatever reason, it seems like I am. See, we're going to hold it here. Then I have, again, my two hands free. And then I'm going to be making a bow. Yes. And then I can hold it here. And I want 
this one to be I need to pull this one a little bit. I don't want to. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see. I might need to pull this one a little bit more. There you go. And let's see. Oh, yes, definitely. So we're going to go ahead and add those. And I'm going to be pulling a little bit on this one. And then we're going to go ahead and add a glue dot. See, that bow makes it even better. I mean, the card look okay with just the label and this one, but once we put the bow, I mean, it just changed completely. Don't you think? All right, so let's go ahead and add this one. I always like adding a glue dot on the bow so that it's not, it's not moving around, it's not undoing or anything, you know? So there you go. And then we can add some gems, right? Oh, you know what? Maybe not. Oh, maybe I can add like a one gem here or something, you know, so that he has some sort of bling. But not too much. Don't get crazy because you want to make sure you go out of these. And if you have your gems here, it might be harder for the belly band. So, or it might rip the belly band. So pay attention to those things. But I could probably add two gems here. Right? Oh my goodness. Yes. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Boop. I'm not going to be adding anything else, but look how beautiful this looks. And of course, you can move up and down. And when you take that one out, then this one opens like so. Is that not cool? Now, you could or I could have the card here, add some designer series paper. I mean, you can get crazy with these. But, I mean, it looks really nice already, the way it looks. And again, you want to make it where it's not too tight so that you can go up and down without any issues. Okay? And there you have it. There you go. Do -do -do. What do you think? Do you like it? I like this one a lot. Like I said, this one was from our... Um, This one is from... Or the layout, I should say, came from our... Uh, team meeting and I thought it was really nice and so you can change the different design series paper make any label and you can recreate this card with any suite that you want so anyway so let's go with card number two or three I should say and so let me just rank those things now this one the only thing that I add on the die cuttings is that I add one of these um, I don't know how to call those things to be honest so this one right and this one is on Sahara Sand. So I just die cut it. There's nothing else other than that. I should have probably um, put, um, what is this, the adhesive sheets, but of course I forgot to do that. So that's okay. <laughs> and then we have these two pieces. Again, the same die that we used at the very, on the first card. And so it is this one. And we have already stamped our pot. Um, and I cut it with this one. Okay, let me just see. Someone asked a question. Miss the beginning, but how is your oh the daughter? Oh, she's doing. She's not. I mean, she's doing better. She's half not in medication, but she end up having flu and a strep. So she is not happy camper. I'll be honest. Uh, she's been having lots of fever throughout the day and just through the night. And so anyway, hopefully she gets better because <laughs> it really hurts me every single time seeing her all sad. <laughs> so anyway, so this one is Evening Evergreen is eight and a half by five and a half. And this one is um, that easy foam fold where you fold in half and then you fold again in half the top layer. Um, if you want to pre-score, you can do it. You can just do a two and one eighth and then a four and one quarter, right? But honestly, you can just go ahead, fold it and fold it without any pre-scoring, okay? Now for these ones, I have two pieces of designer series paper. One is two by five and three eighths, which is the one that is going to go on the top. That way I have a nice layer. This one comes from the... Um, Bloom where your planet designer series paper, which is the one from this suite or this bundle And then this one the same thing is from the same designer series uh, series uh, design, design series paper pack and this one is four by five and one quarter And so this one will be right here in the center. Okay, so let's go ahead and And if you don't have more of this designer series paper, right? Like you could also use like a white piece of paper that could also work well um 
as well. So let me just, yeah, there you go. Yeah, she, oh my goodness, I don't know. She's, last night she was just with so much fever. There was a point where we were calling 911 because I didn't know what to do. But of course they were like, I can send an ambulance. And I was like, well, I don't know that we need an ambulance, you know? But at some point we were really concerned because we had already given her a, a call bad giving her already the more train and so uh, we couldn't give her anything else for some hours and so we were kind of like what do we do and so of course when you i didn't know this i mean i'm not from the u.s so i don't know all the things right and so i thought that when you call 911 at least they would able like some sort of paramedic could at least give you some advice and they were like no we cannot give you an advice but we can send an ambulance and i'm like i don't think i need an ambulance right now so anyway um so we just put some eyes uh, in her like front forehand, not eyes, but you know, something really cool so that we can help. So anyway, now this one is basic white and it's two and a half by four. And so we're gonna be putting it right here. Now, I always like to put the inside first so that I know exactly where the front is gonna go so I can cover the inside. So, um, Anyway, yeah, that was very scary. I'll be honest. This, uh, because again, we had already given her the medicine, a cold bath. Um, I know some friends have told me in the past lavender oil. So we have already put lavender oil. Like, we were trying everything. And of course, this is 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the morning. And nothing is working. So anyway. But like I said, we, yeah, we managed to drop it down. But yeah, it was kind of stressful for us last night all right now i have the same the same piece right the same measurements is two and a half by four did i say that right uh let's see just confirm yeah two and a half by four and then this one is two and three quarters by four and one quarter and so this one is going to go like so now for this one though here's what i don't know i want to say thank you i don't know that i could put it here or I can put it here. You know, I wanna put these things here. Let's just see how this one would look. So something like so, and then have this one like that, right? That's how I'm picturing this one. Um, oh, and I want to add, oh, thank goodness. I wanna add this one in the back so that it has some more of a, like a foliage, if you will. So we're gonna stamp this one, but I think, I think I want the thank you straight on the card rather than on this paper to be honest because i think that it has too many things you know like this one is going to be like right here and so it's going to be interfering so i think i'm going to just put it like right there and see how it looks and if not then i can cover it so let's just try first with it here and then go from there you can call my local hospital and ask oh yeah, that's a good tip. Thank you, Betsy. I probably should, like I said, we were like, I just need some advice as to what else to do from a medical person. And like I said, the 911 were like, we're not doctors. We can send an ambulance if you want. And I'm like, well, I don't know that I want to go that route. But anyway, um, this is the first time we've ever called 911, to be honest. First time in our lives. <laughs> So, and again, my expectation was like, oh, maybe they have like doctors there, you know, not doctors, but like the paramedics or something that, um, that they can advise, but no, they were like, we can call an ambulance for you, but no, we're not going to give you any medical advice, which I mean, I get it, you know, um, but we just needed some sort of advice as to, we have given her all these meds, what else can we do? <laughs> so anyway, especially for a fever, I mean... So anyway, we're gonna be putting this one, see how it looks really nice already, right? And then we're gonna be adding this one here. Is it too low? Hold on, let me see. Oh no, it's perfect. Now on this one, oh, thank goodness I didn't add the whole thing, the sheet, because I only want the adhesive on this section. So give me a second, hold on. Um, We're gonna be adding this one. Uh, um, so yeah, like I said, <clears throat> not a not a great night but um you know this is one of those times where you're like where are your parents when you need them <laughs> you know like my mom always knows what to do you know i feel like and we were like oh gosh you know 
This is one of those times. But anyway, we managed well. Except we ended up doing the bad cold and letting her be on her underwear only. And then she wanted to, she has like a blankie that she uses all the time. But of course, we're trying to manage her, her temperature. And so we're like, no, you cannot have your blankie. And so she was all fussy because of that as well. Because she always wants that blanket with her. So anyway, we're like, you can't do that right now. So she was not happy with us for sure. Just for that reason as well. So anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We're going to let it dry for a second. I'm going to put this one right here while I close this one. Anytime you use your... Um, uh, fine tip glue pen just close it right away that way it's ready to go the next time and then for this one like I said I'm gonna be adding the thank you I think it's good now because this one is gonna go right here see and I feel like even then oh yeah if I put it a little bit up you know I could yeah let's see I'm gonna be adding the thank you right at the end right at the end and we'll see how it goes <laughs> your daughter <laughs> is 31 and she still has a blanket i'm telling you yeah i mean and i have no problems with her having her blanket i have no problem but when you're trying to make sure she is not too hot you don't want any blanket and so yeah she was so mad at us yesterday because like no no blanket and she was like but i want and she called it anna you know it's from um Frozen, so it's Anna and Elsa, but she calls her blankie Anna. I'm like, I want Anna, I want Anna. Oh, <laughs> uh, insurance. Could, oh, okay. So they might have a 24 hour nurse. So those are great tips to have. Thank you so much. Because oh my gosh, yeah, it was like I said, it was kind of a stressful for us yesterday. Um, my husband did not sleep at all. I tell you, I was like in and out at least in between. I did have to put the alarm clock for every like. 15 20 minutes because I know I'm so tired sometimes that um I just snooze so like I need to make sure I'm alert so and she was in our bed so it's not like I wouldn't hear anything or anything but I would I was putting like an alarm clock every 15 minutes just to be checking just in case I fall asleep but my husband my husband is even like he is so responsible for those things I'll be honest like he did not sleep at all like he was by her side the whole time and then he was so worried because the the weirdest thing one arm was hotter than the other one you know and so he was so like what do we do like one arm is so hot and the other one like one was like one 101 point something and the other one was like 99 something he was like uh does she has it or not and i'm like well i mean we're gonna treat it as she has it was so weird so anyway, he was, um, he did not sleep at all. I was, like I said, in and out. Uh, I did put an alarm clock just because, like I said, I always fear that I'm going to fall asleep just because I'm too tired. And, um, and I just want to make sure I am, I am checking on her on those things, right? So anyway, it was, it was kind of, it was kind of something yesterday, I'll be honest. So anyway, I am using the twine and this is like the crumb cake out of the, Baker's Twins Essential Pack. And so I'm just putting it through. And then I'm going to put everything with dimensional. See, and I still have a little bit of that interference. That's okay. You can still read that it says thank you. So I am okay with that. I'm actually. Or the other thing that I can do. Oh, don't, don't do that. Um, the other thing that I can do that is maybe do the next one a little bit. Yeah, maybe let's do the back again and make the leaves a little bit taller than this. You know, like not taller, but in the upper hand. Let's see. Let's see. We have the take two on this and see if that works better. So somewhere more. Where is the other one? Let me just see. Oh my goodness. So it's right here, like two fingers. Okay. So I need less than two fingers. Okay, so somewhere like here. Okay. I'm gonna leave it there. Is this the same? Uh, I think it's slightly up, not a lot, but that's okay. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, see? Yes, so anyway. And then I'm gonna be stamping the thank you here very at the bottom, and we'll go from there. Um, do, do, do. we're gonna go ahead and see here. So, oh my gosh, 104 degree, but that sounds so scary. I have a friend whose child got into, I think it was 104, 105, and then he starts having like a, some convulsion or like an epilepsy thing. He's He doesn't have epilepsy, but because he had so such a uh, high fever, he had it. And so ever since it's been like, I am always scared of the fever, to be honest, just because of that. I'm like, I know it's scary, you know, and it can cause some other things. So definitely, no, no, it's definitely scary for sure. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add um, some dimensionals. I think I like this one better. Oh, did I cut it or not? And then I'm going to go ahead and use... this one and that one and then I might just use a little bit here uh, just to make sure like it get oh then I pull out the thingy here yeah and I'm gonna leave it that way. You don't really see it too much. There you go. See? Much, much, much better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have this one right here. And then I'm gonna be adding this one to the back. And I just need to kind of open them. You know so it seems like it is hanging All right and then I can add this one um how do I want it dimensionals no I don't want dimensional so I'm just gonna go ahead flat so let's just go ahead and flat this one All right, so now that we have this section, say we're gonna go ahead and put it like so. And I'm kind of crooked, that's okay. But see how I can tell here where I can add this one, because I just need to add adhesive on one section. And I don't know if I want a bow on this one. I don't think I need a bow just because where would you put it? Like, I think it will look weird with a bow, but let's just put one and see how it looks. Um, Where is the ribbon now? I mean, it was here. Mm -hmm. Hold on, what do I do with the ribbon? I have no clue what I did with the ribbon. I'm sure that when I finish the... Oh, is this it? No, it's not this one. Huh. I don't know what I did with the ribbon. Hmm. It was here. You know, you might be seeing it, and I don't see it anymore. Well, somewhere here, there's a ribbon. Do you see it? Um, what did I do with the ribbon? Seriously, what happened to the ribbon? Um, well, we lost the ribbon. I don't know what I did with the ribbon. Because it was here. Do you see it? It's not this one. This one is the light. And now I, I managed to have the... How, how did I get this one? I have no clue. But I have now the, the pale papaya here in my table. Like I said, I never know how I end up losing everything, but I always lose everything here on my table. Um. Anyway, so I guess that's no ribbon because seriously, I don't know what I did with it. It must have fallen or something, and I didn't 
realize it because it's not here. So anyway, we're gonna go without the ribbon. We're gonna go ahead and add adhesive on this section and then we call it a card. Is it this side? Yeah. Yeah, what happened to there? Now it's bugging me. Like, we're... And I'm sure that when I click in on the video, it will be here. I promise you, it will be here. Because that always happens. Okay, here we go. So now this one opens like so, so you have enough space to write down and it covers so that when you're mailing it, they don't, like no one see it, so. What about wrapping the twine around? Oh, oh, you mean like doing another, like a bow here? I like how you're thinking right now. What about wrapping the twine around the left side? Oh, like, oh, you mean here or maybe here, you know, like maybe like a little bow there. I don't know. Something with the twine. Yeah, we can do it. It's bugging me that I lost the ribbon here. Like, seriously. What in the world? Like, what happened? Where did it go? It was here, right? Like, we've been, we've been using it this whole time. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what I did with it? What if I use it here? Oh, I like it there, actually. Okay, let's do this one. It's a single bow. A single bow. You know? I think I like it. And where is this one? Do, do, do. All right. And then where is the take your pick? I'm like, did I lose the take your pick too? <laughs> okay. And we're going to go ahead and add it like right here. Oh, yes. It adds a little bit something there. Yes. Love it. All right. So I like it even better with a little bow there. It wasn't exactly here, but yeah, I look on the floor. It's not on the floor. Like I said, I'm always losing, but I tell you what, the minute I click done and you know, this is it. That's when I find everything. It's so frustrating because I know I was, I mean, I was using it right here. Who knows? Oh, I don't need to be. Who knows what I do, but every single time I, I manage to lose something on a video. Every single time. It never fails. It's not even funny. <laughs> so anyway, so let's just bring all the pieces. Let me throw the trash here. I'm sure it will be here once we're done. Because it always happens. And then I'm, I'm going to be super mad because I'm like, it was right here in front of me. And you know what? In some of the videos, it's funny because people already telling me, like, it's there on their blah, 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 whatever. And I'm like, I don't know where it is. And it's right in front of me, and I still managed not to see it. So anyway, so here are our three cars. These are super, super nice, I think, right? I'm going to put this one so it kind of closes, you know, so that you can see it all three. So let me know which one is your favorite. I particularly think that this is kind of like a new phone fall for me. So I love that one. So definitely um, this is going to be my favorite. Although I like all the details on this one. So, uh, and I love this particular pot. I don't know what it is. I like this one. But anyway, like I mentioned at the very beginning, when you, um, when you purchase with me at least $35 between now and April, Sunday, April 10, using this host code, you have to use this host code, you get the card kit to make these cards. The only exception is if you're placing an order that is $150, do not use the host code, you still get the card kit. So anyway, um, hope you enjoy it. And like I said, these are very easy. I mean, you saw they're very easy to make. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And um. If you have any questions, let me know. And also make sure you're on the mailing list um, for all the card classes. Like I said, the friendly hello, it's about to uh, run out of the stamp sets. I can still make more cards. I just don't have any more of the stamp sets. So um, at that point it will be uh, without the free stamp set, just the designer series paper for that one. But again, those were gifts just because we had plenty of those during celebration. So it's not like we added any cost of those. It was just a gift from us, but I mean, once I'm run out, I run out. So anyway, um, and what else? Oh, 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 did I forget? Oh, yeah. And if you have any crafty friends, share the video. It always helps me a lot. So anyway, I would appreciate if you share the video. It always helps me. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Eva. Yeah, I hope so. I hope she gets better uh, by um, 
by like tomorrow. She's taking already her medicine, so I hope that it's better. But yeah, no, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for all the well wishes from everyone and also from your tips. I sure will be going back and read all the tips you gave me because definitely I need to make sure I know all those things the next time. Oh, thank you, Carol. You are so sweet. Alrighty, so thank you so much. Let me know which one is your favorite and I'll see you next week. I'll be back on a Tuesday, not on a Wednesday. <laughs> Although the last three weeks has been like Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. So I'll be back on a Tuesday, I promise. So thank you so much and I um talk to you later. Oh, hi, Don. Say hello to Lenny. <laughs> Bye.